Hey guys, Daniel Lyas here, senior editor for LiveTech Australia and LiveTechAU.com. You know AirPrint, that thing that Apple released for your iPad? Well, it's kind of annoying. You need a compatible printer, which not many people have. Uh, I know I don't. I bet tons of you out there also don't. There is actually a way to sort of bypass this with some free software. And it's not Ill illegal either, it's, it's legal from what I know. And it's for Mac and PC. So let's go over to the computer and check it out. Okay, so head on over to Google, search AirPrint Activator, should be the first link, you'll get this page over here. Follow the prompts and download the zip file for either Mac or PC, then you'll get an icon that looks like this. Open that up and you'll be presented with this window. Just hit the on switch and you can see that the status is on sharing. Then open up your print settings and then uh, make sure your printer is set for sharing. Hit sharing preferences and make sure that printer sharing is ticked. Now it will work on your Mac. Okay, now download the file on Windows, unzip it and you should be presented with an icon that looks like this, pretty similar to the Mac one. Open it up, then you'll be presented with this window which is in German actually and it's going to ask you to activate it on Windows 32-bit or Windows 64-bit. Now I've got 64-bit, so I'm going to hit 64-bit. comes up with a message in German saying probably you've already installed it, because I already have. But yours should say done. Now I'm going to hit OK. And that's pretty much it. That's how you install it on Windows. I uh, hope this works for you. It should work on all your iOS devices. Now if it doesn't work on Windows at, uh, the first time and it keeps asking you for a password, you might actually have to set a password for your computer if you don't already have one, and also just check your sharing preferences. All the links for Mac and PC will be in the description. Give this video a thumbs up, I hope you like it, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.